All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of The Game Loons. And as always, we have our main guy here, Carlos, with us. What's up, everybody? All right. And we, uh, of course, are back with another episode of The Game Loons, where we talk thing, where we talk about all things that are nerd culture. We're happy to have everyone back, to everyone who's listening. Thank you so much for all the views. Thank you so much for the listens as well um as always we do have a discord if you want to interact with us uh, send us any questions um just go ahead and feel free to do so we love the feedback and we love the interaction absolutely <laughs> all right so with that out of the way um let's get into some of our topics that we'll be going through today um today of course i mean it's been a pretty exciting week um you know some some good some bad <laughs> Um, so right off the bat, I just want to go with, uh, just, just a little overview of what we're going to be talking about. So of course, the very first thing that we want to get into is Moon Knight. The best um, thing on right now. <laughs> I would say, I would actually agree with, uh, agree with that. Um, but I don't watch a lot of other shows to be fair, <laughs> but, um, uh, so far I would agree with that. Yep. Um, also we are going to be talking about the new stranger things trailer that, uh, just recently dropped. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's a lot to go over in that trailer. Yes. I mean, it, it gave us so much. I watched it five times. I wish I would have, would have watched it a little more. Yeah. Cause each time it's different, but we'll, we'll get into that. Mm -hmm. Um, um, also, we're going to talk about uh, the new Fantastic Beast movie. Um, just a warning: um, neither of, of us have watched it. You haven't watched it, right, Carlos? Well, as as of this recording, it, it still is not out. Okay, so, so maybe it, next it, recording we'll it, go ahead. Um, no, but I want to talk about it because there's a lot of things to even okay. without watching the movie. There's a lot of things <laughs> to talk yeah, about that, Fantastic Beast. So um, just uh, so we can put that really as the entire series, Fantastic. Yeah, Beast. we can just, just talk about the series as a whole and what we expect um okay all right and after that topic we should be getting straight into of course uh sonic the hedgehog something i'm very excited to talk about yep um also after that uh a little of the bag we were talking about morbius um once again uh i have not personally watched it Neither and carlos I. nope oh. There not you go. <laughs> Mar Carlos has not personally watched it. Nope. We, we def definitely did want to go over things regarding its overall future and, you know, some of the receptions that it's had. Unfortunately so. Um, also, Lego Star Wars that just recently came yep. out. It just dropped last week, so I just want to you know, touch on that because, wow, that's what I'm going to give you right now. That was the preview. Wow. Of course. I mean, we're Star Wars fans, both of us, so anything yep. Star Wars, even if the Lego franchise, which, which deserves its respect, uh, I think you know what I'm gonna save it because I got I, <laughs> I, for any Lego Star Wars haters I got some words for you. Yeah, really, there were haters of that. Well, yeah, I I, I could see it because they're like, oh, it's kid stuff. Yep. Yeah, I can see it. All right, and finally, our, our final topic, which we should end up uh, end around, is uh, where the hell is the Thor four trailer? Where is the Thor four trailer? I'm tired of seeing it trending on Twitter. Just come out with a trailer <laughs> every day, but I mean, we'll see. All right, so um first topic i want to go ahead and give the floor to you moon knight what moon, do you think moon knight um let me tell you something um when the show right before the show started um i saw all the rumors in the not the rumors i'm sorry the the reviews started coming out and i kept seeing the same consensus um episode one is the highlight it kind of drops down from there who really? the hell was reviewing that they said show. that they said episode one was the best episode in the series and it just drops from there the quality each episode what? that's dropped we're three 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 episodes in as of today each episode gets better and better yes we keep diving deeper and deeper into the mythos of of moon knight and to and into what is dissociative identity disorder and it keeps getting more and more interesting yes. um hmm I, I, can't, I can't even imagine how somebody watched that show um, and, and came away that way. But I s kept seeing it so consistently. And I said, well, that has to be wrong. And I was right. I mean, this show has been so good. Um, 
uh, you know what? Let's just talk negatives first. Just let's just get it out of the way. True. Um, because I really only have maybe one or two. I maybe only one. Some of the CGI is just not good. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I'll take that. I mean, listen, if I can get through the CW's Flash, I can get through. Yeah. This. I can get any through CW show any, really. Or yeah, any any CW show. Listen, this is still a TV show. Yeah. Yes, I understand that they've poured in a lot of money into the and TV it's Marvel. shows. It's Marvel, I understand, but it's a new character. It's not like the four shows before us that were established characters. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, they were going to dump in a lot of money to Loki, so the CGI on that show was just better. But I can't say that the CGI on this show is like it takes away from the show, at least while I'm watching it. Yeah, not while you're watching. I, I think, yeah, once you start analyzing the show and pausing just to see, like, oh, yeah, some of it looks a little bit. I mean, even it's iffy. The, a little bit. Um, Even the third episode where small spo spoilers, spoilers. Oh, yeah, about spoiler alert. Sorry about um, that. Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> if you listen to the game, Loons, you should know spoilers. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, there's that part where he's fighting the people with knives on a building. And oh. that background, some of that background looked very CGI. -ish. Yes. But then when he goes into the chase, the chase looked amazing. Yeah. It, I thought it, it, it was. And well, I know they filmed. Set. Um, I know they filmed on location. They filmed a lot. Yes. Um, it, it looked too good to be, for it to not be on location so, on something. So you have the chase that looks amazing, but then the scene right before that on the roof looks CGI ish. <laughs> what are your limitations? I don't know. Um, you think there was some production issues? COVID? Maybe, maybe they had to do some reshoots. I don't know. Yeah. Does it take me away from the show? Not really, though. Um, if we, if I had to nitpick, though, the CGI has troubling spots. I remember in the first episode, some of the CGI on the car chase down. Yes. Uh, some of the CGI was pretty bad. Yes. Um, but again, on a show where you're introducing your character. Um, which is still a TV show. Um, That's about as best it, as you could expect, to be honest. And it's, it, it's, it, it was a complicated sequence, you know, yeah. having the car all go that. down that hill, those, those spiral roads. Not all of it looked fake, only certain parts. Safety. I don't know. I mean, we're, we're still we're still in COVID protocols with um, shooting shows especially so in certain areas especially in certain areas they can't right. control it if they're filming other countries i um i will gladly take the bad cgi because the storytelling is it's so pretty good. good so far um and just how they're handling him not being in control has been As, so good it's, it's really the overall theme of the show right now. yeah i mean it's truly i have no control of what's happening yes and identity. we're just gonna hop in and out and mental health you know, they don't run away from that. Yeah, yeah, no. He very clearly, especially in the last episode, mm -hmm. he acknowledges something is wrong with him. That um, was heartbreaking. Yeah, when he's there and he just admits it, it. It feels like he's, it feels like he's talking to himself where he realized it too. Yeah. I am not well. Yep. Oh, that and, that was so good. And you know, we've been introduced to, really, technically two sides of him. We have Stephen Grant and Mark Spector. But it seems to me like there's a third person that's yes, out there. Yes, it's hinting um, at that. Um, yeah, it seems to be that there's probably a third. And I thought the third um, person, I, I did think it was going to be three, just because, I don't know, rule of three was the magic number and everything. Um, I thought there was going to be three identities, and I thought the third identity was going to be Mr. Knight. Let me tell you something. I am so happy with how they handled introducing <laughs> mr knight into the show it was <laughs> i, I do want believe that, it <laughs> i do want that comedic relief yes um, uh, and steven being mr knight and 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 talking it talking through it and that was fighting. brilliant it was so funny it's just funny I yeah don't know, i'm enjoying this show so much and i have to uh oscar isaac is just killing it he is my goodness like in every single role where he needs to deliver it in certain ways. First of all, to play, to, to act with, with the act, uh, to act like somebody who has that sort of disorder, mm -hmm. that's very difficult. Yes. Because you have to, you have to be able to turn gears so quickly. And Oscar Isaac being the professional that he is, he's able to do it and he's able to execute it really, really well. Yeah. And he's, 
I mean, the fact, even when he's in the scene where Khonshu is speaking through him, I mean, he's going all at it and he's able to realize, oh wait, that is not my voice, but my voice, this voice is coming out of me. I'm confused. Um, he's doing the stunt work. He's doing, I mean, this show is, I'm, I'm really excited to see where this second half, I'm the only complaint besides actually CGI is that man, we're already halfway through the show. Oh, it's only six episodes. It's only a six episode series. I can see it. The pace has been very quick. Yeah, we uh, and and you know Marvel has caught a lot of flack for some of the shows pacing uh, being too slow. Some of the other shows. So True. I mean, man, this is going. Yeah. Um. W- what do you expect to see from here? <clears throat> well, first off, I I do want to say that I agree with most of your criticisms. Um. What. It's not just what, like, like for example, with, with Moon Knight, he's just such a different character, right? Right. I like that I don't know what I'm going to expect. Right. Uh, I'm not the biggest, I don't have the biggest extensive knowledge history on Moon Knight. Um, I'm, I'm learning as we're all learning about Moon Knight. I've heard of the character before. I'm sure I've played him in one of the Marvel Legends games before, <laughs> but really him as who he is as a person i don't know much about it and i and i and and i'm enjoying this me too um i don't know like i haven't i haven't concocted any theories about anything about that's going on in the show because i didn't i I did not expect um i i think i didn't expect some some more of the fantastical elements of the show like in episode three when he did that whole thing with the stars i wasn't expecting that for them to go that far because like immediately the first thing i'm 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 gonna think is okay does dr strange know about this does he approve like right and and at this <laughs> point i'm expecting you know they have a meeting of the gods of the egyptian gods mm-hmm. and um you don't recognize anybody that's there unless you're yeah, into no. unless you're into egyptian um mythology yeah which i mean i'm sure there's fans of it i mean of course. <laughs> um but you i don't think especially I mean, we're in a Western, in Western education, we go over Greek mythology, we go over Roman mythology, yeah. um, Nordic mythology. mythology we yeah. uh, Egyptian mythology is at the lower end of what yeah, we learn. Nah. I mean, I remember <laughs> learning college. about it. Yeah, and and I, I do remember here and there just like different things I would learn, but I don't remember this pantheon of gods like they're painting it out to be. Yeah. And I do, I'm so interested in seeing how this interacts with all the other gods that are out there i yeah. mean we we know that we have the norse gods out there now we have egyptian gods out there we know there's um magic because of agatha and 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 dating back to the salem trials so i have to think that's anglo-saxon judeo-christian type of wizardry going on back oh, there like hercules. dark magic like like uh, the uh, hercules hercules is a character i mean yeah like, he, in the I comics mean, but in the comics who knows and so i'm i'm fully ex- i i do i am interested in seeing how this will pan out both on the larger scale mm-hmm. for the mcu in terms of introducing gods talking to other gods of maybe different religions i think that's um there's an episode if you watch the supernatural where um, the main characters they bust in on a meeting of all the gods because they're talking about they're discussing hey um the jail christians are going into their um into their aftermath or whatever what are we gonna do and it was all <laughs> these different gods it was a norse god a, a hindu god a, like oh, that's them, fun. Them, I never them saw talking that. like that so I, I and i know there's in the comics history of that like odin talking to this god here and that god there i want to see that that's something that'd I, be very fun. I mean, if you're establishing that, you know, these different ideologies, these different viewpoints are a all valid and b true and real. Let's do it. I, I, I my fear is that they're going to be throwaway characters. Like they're only going to exist in the context of this show and yeah. nowhere else. Yeah. And it and, feels and, like that. And, um, I hope that's not the case. Cause I would Me like too. to see, um, more interaction. And I think, um, just the fact that, you know, they're getting, they're, they're shooting over there in Egypt. They the grab directors from over there. That's just cool. That's true. That, that was a very good move by Marvel. Yeah, it's it's you're you're getting 
that authentic touch of w how it should be over there the music um yes. anytime i hear the music i'm like oh man this is this feels real this feels authentic to the context of the show the culture too the culture um and i can't believe we've gone this long talking about moon knight without saying it ethan hawk is doing i did not recognize him amazing <laughs> as i did not villain, recognize the hero him. i mean just talk about true cult leader vibes yes um the uh, walking okay, on glass, we, that, like that that walk that thing with his foot that was amazing. <laughs> that I mean, was how, amazing. how much that's when I was like, okay, so we're we're just going into it. it. This is real. This is gonna be some real sick um some sick shit we're gonna watch essentially. Yeah. Cause I mean this is they're going that far. I think this is the furthest um Marvel's gone in that type of route. And that's what I want to see, especially if we're gonna get into characters like the Ebony Knight and and mm. and um, Blade. Yes, that's what I want to see. Um, and hopefully, you know, in the, in these next couple episodes, more Moon Knight. Um, yes, in full in costume and fighting. Moon Knight has not been there that much. That's that. That's what I I I would I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. If that's one of the Chris criticism. You know, Moon Knight has not been there that much. I, I, I can see that being a criticism. I can also... Um, I think they've done it well with it. I mean, I'm sure it's expensive. Um, It's a full CGI mm -hmm. looking suit. Um, and, and his action is pretty good. Yes, His fighting is. is brutal. Um, In the first episode, yeah, it was a tease. It yeah. was just literally five seconds of it. But, <laughs> you know, seeing, seeing him in episode two and three... I mean, I'm not. I don't want him in the suit the full time, but um, you know, maybe we do get more of that. And what I've heard, which I mean, I'm gonna take it with a grain of salt because what I heard previously, I disagreed with. But I've heard episode five is where everything they drop a bomb. So, Good or bad? A great bomb. Great. A bomb that, uh, uh, as a Marvel fan, we're gonna we're just gonna love. Okay. So okay. You got I'm me excited. excited. For that. Um, Damn. Do don't know what that could be. Out? Don't know what that can imply, but I'm ready for it. I'm and like you said, does Strange know about this? Does Strange yeah. know what's what's going on over here since he's so? Because that uh, part surprised me. Because like, okay, fine, cool. He's doing this really amazing thing. He's God, but then everybody else was seeing it too. Yeah, like, the whole, like, yeah, it's like the whole world sees it. Yeah, like the whole thing in Eternals when um right when the hand comes out of the, like, the ocean. The, oh, that's just normal. That's just like, cool now. And then other people were seeing it or when it grabbed her. Uh -huh, At right. the end, I was like, yo, other people are seeing. They literally saw, I was like, okay, yeah, this is saw, insane. They saw <laughs> like, Arisham, yeah, like, like, that was there in the sky. Okay. You know what? I, I will say this about Moon Knight. So when I watched episode one, um, I had known a little bit about some of the criticisms out there. Um, when I watched it, I, it was, it was a bit slow, right? But I enjoyed that in the fact, when, I, of course, what grabbed me was the fact that he had this um, disorder Mm -hmm. where he was very much somebody who was struggling with his life, right? He wasn't all there, you know, he was trying to get dates. Yeah. Which I was surprised he went for somebody like that, because, oh, wow. Yeah, um, I was surprised she went for it even yeah. for a little bit, yeah. Yeah, but, like, I was I was watching it, and, like, Marvel, in my opinion, always handles these things pretty tastefully, Yeah. right? And I was, as I was watching it, I was worried that they were going to use this as, they were going to, they were going to separate this uh, this identity Steven from the actual person right from Mark Spector in like a, in a completely separate way but no they're saying that this man is unwell it's not a it's not necessarily a product of say moon knight coming into his life or yeah. all that like no this is a guy with issues but he's also moon knight yeah. you, you know it's 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 such a straightforward portrayal of somebody with a, with a mental disorder that I just really enjoyed the fact that they showed him trying to live his life failing living his life with the with the disorders and showing all the problems that they were causing yep. whether it was his boss or his job which how he reacts to things or how people Not look at him it was exactly like, just the little things that I think I really enjoyed it, it feels like Marvel did their research yeah I think so and I think I mean how many times have you been at work and you say, oh man, it's already five. When you lose time like that, it's, it's jarring. jarring. 
Now imagine losing days. Mm -hmm. I'm not remembering. It's so, I think it's done so well. If it's slow, I'll take it as slow. Yeah. Because they really set it up of everything he goes through to try to remember or to try to prevent um, the loss of time, the loss of knowledge, the loss, loss of memory. And, and I like the way they switch and how he goes in and out. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact Ooh. that, you know, sometimes like I don't really trust him as the narrator. Yes. Like, is this really happening? Is it not? Is this a dream? Do we really know? It's kind of like, it, it, it actually reminds me a lot of WandaVision, where mm. it's like, is this happening? Possibly. No. Who knows? Um, I think it, at this point it is, but I, at the same time, there has to be some some grains of salt that you got to take with it. Sure. Um, and I love the way that now that we're following Mark, especially in this third episode, mm -hmm. we show how his switch happens as well. Yeah, and his switch is very different similar too, and it's a different perspective of how it feels on his end. It's, they're really, they're really going full circle with it. Mm -hmm. Um, I just can't wait for these next three episodes. <laughs> Me um, neither, man. Me um, too. They just can't come fast enough. Yeah, but overall, I, I think I'm really enjoying the show. Yeah, the the CGI in episode one, the CGI in general can be can be really bad. The thing is, I I don't think it's it's. The thing about the CGI is my main issue with it is that yes, it's bad, but it's overused. It's it's reused yeah. so much. Like for example, like when some, yeah. somebody was jumping on the car chasing after him, yeah. they use CGI for that person. Like, why don't you get a stunt? Why go CGI? I mean, the guy was obviously CGI until like he got right on the right on the right on the truck. Yeah, Ooh. it's a, it's a delicate balance. I mean. Um, we've seen the mix of CGI and practical. We've seen which directors do it perfectly mm -hmm. and which properties don't. Um, I think the CGI, like at the end of Black Panther that we've talked about, yeah. the CGI and Captain Marvel, um, that we talk about, um, just, there's a lot of instances in the in the MCU where CGI is a little bit overused. Yes. And I see why they do it. Um, I mean, it's even come out. I don't know if you saw um, speak MCU talking about the MCU, but there's a video that Variety released. I believe it's Variety. Um, it's a, like a 23 minute video about how they did the VFX for Spider Man, um, and how many shots really aren't real. Like in mm. Spider Man at the in the at the end at the at the um at the Statue of Liberty, they don't have masks. Oh really? So when they when all three of them put their masks on, that's CGI. Oh. Now that's an instance where I see the CGI and I can't even tell that CGI. I didn't yeah. I would have never thought that. I mean obviously things about that sequence are gonna be CGI. They're not gonna put anybody on a Statue of Liberty and they're not gonna re recreate all of the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. But there are instances in this in, in filmmaking where you can see Okay, that's clearly bad CGI, and then some of it is just way better. I think it's mm -hmm. just a matter of uh, mastering it. I don't think they're ever gonna get it perfect. Yeah, of course. because I mean, in, in the same movie, Tom Holland does a lot of his stunts. Yeah, which was a amazing. lot of his stunts. So it's like, okay, you gotta mix the practical with the CGI. I think maybe it's a production issue. I don't know. I think they've but, gotten low. Uh, I think they've gotten better at it. I think the for me at, by episode three. Because episode one, it was really jarring in a way that I don't think a lot of people would have enjoyed. I liked it personally. I liked the, the fact that um he didn't ha he had no idea where he was or what he was doing. I would say my main problem with episode one, besides the bad CGI and everything, right? The whole thing, it did feel a little off. He was suddenly in Egypt, exactly the place where he needed to be, talking with the main villain who noticed him. It felt really like... How did we get here? Exactly. It but, was and and, and 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 normally I would probably complain about the same thing, but we just have to take it as Yeah. Yeah, it's not a big criticism, but I can see if somebody was watching and say, Okay, this maybe just maybe it'll take somebody away from it in that moment. Yeah. But other than that, I think episode two and three the directing improved massively. Especially with the action scenes in episode two. Yeah. They are brutal. I was worried about Moon Knight not having Yeah, we having kept that... hearing all this the most brutal um, uh, uh, fighting that we've seen in the MCU. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. there's quite a bit of blood that I was surprised to see. Yeah. Hey, you're not going to get like 
people with, you know, blood flying out of their ears or something like that. But, you know, some people bleed. Mm-hmm. You know, my favorite part before we, we move on or anything yeah. like that. My favorite part was when the guy with the knife on the rooftop, when oh, he yeah. licked the knife. And then I scratch and just started punching him because the guy was, just wanted to be like fancy. It was, it was such a weird thing. I remember he licked it and I was like, you're going to cut yourself. Stop, sir. <laughs> right. Please stop. I, I saw it and I cringed. I literally cringed. I was like, please stop playing with the knife. Like, right. like, but it's true. I mean, um, I have to. I, I, I do want to give the credit where it's deserved with Oscar Isaac. He's really he really so far from what we've seen. I think he's dedicated a lot to this role. And I just, for the future of the MCU, I hope we we bring him back. If it's not in a show, put him in every other movie like you do Strange, because it it it's been awesome. Yeah. All right. So, uh, 